I was trying to decide whether or not this would I would cover this in a live stream or in a separate video, but my live stream topics were already filled to the brim and I just couldn't add anything else to it. So I said, let me just go ahead and make this into a pre-recorded video. So if you don't know who this person is right here, their name is Ezekiel Kelly. And this person went on a mass shooting spree down in Memphis, Tennessee, where he shot seven people and took out four of them. So only three of them survived their injuries as the latest that we know. And they he and he was taking it alive. And this guy just screams very disturbed to me, like very off putting and weird because this believe it or not, this is probably one of the few pictures I found online of him of him not smiling, showing all 32 teeth. And I'll explain why as I get into the article. Now, you know, when it comes to stories like these, like breaking stories, I always love going to heavy because they give those five facts. And the article, luckily for me, was posted four hours ago and I'm recording this on September 8th, 2022. So it's very recent. Ezekiel Kelly was named by Memphis police as the active shooter who randomly gunned down seven people, deleting four of them in public places throughout the Tennessee city. Kelly, age 19. And I want y'all to keep this in mind. These mass shooters that we have seen over the last few months have been in the same age bracket. Like Peyton Gendron, I believe, is the same age as him. Then you had the one down at in, in Uvalde at the school was in the same age range as them as well. Like they literally were all in that same cluster age wise. He was now, he's now in custody, according to Memphis police, was streaming live on Facebook during the shootings. As of 1 p.m. September 8th, he had not been charged. He is also known as Ezekiel Dewan Kelly and Ezekiel D. Kelly. This has been a horrific week for the city of Memphis. The Memphis police chief, C.J. Davis, said in a news conference, Allison Parker, a young mother and medical assistant, was named as one of the deceased victims. She said that four people, two men and two women, were shot to death and three people were shot and wounded and an eighth victim was carjacked but was not injured. She gave a detailed timeline of the shooting spree, which you can see later in the article. Kelly crashed a carjacked Dodge Challenger and was arrested near Ivan and Hodges Road ending the random shooting spree that terrified the already tra traumatized city, according to Fox 13 Memphis. The gunman streamed live on Facebook a page called Zeke Huncho. The chief confirmed. You can watch the Facebook live video later in the article, which I will not be doing because I don't, I don't like watching disturbing stuff like that. And it even said it in the next sentence that is disturbing. And it says it's disturbing because in one of the images, it shows one of the victims being shot inside of an auto zone. It says the victims have not yet been identified. That man is in critical condition before others did not survive their injuries in separate shootings. The URL of the Facebook page read bank, bank boy Zeke and contained photos of guns and has now been deleted. Kelly was photographed smiling after his arrest. And I'm telling you, this picture looks so creepy. Him, you know, being in the backseat of the cruiser being handcuffed and he's literally looking over at the I guess that's the body cam smiling dead into it like he knew exactly where to look and just cheese and show all 32 teeth like he was proud of what he just did now is going to go ahead and get into the five facts the first one says Kelly says on Facebook live video this ish for real before randomly shooting a man at an auto zone. The video clip shows the active shooter walking into the store and randomly shooting a man within seconds of walking inside. The man is simply standing in the aisle of the store when he is attacked. No faking, no faking. This ish is for real. The active shooter said nonchalantly as he walked in the store. In a second video clip, he drives past the gas station and appears to shoot. The language in this video is also extremely graphic. He said this ish for real. Nigga, he said. Videos of this, and I'm gonna actually tell y'all towards the end of this article what this is reminding me of so much just already uh, reading this. Videos of the suspects on Facebook Live were widely shared on social media. In one video, he says, This ish is too easy. Police said they were able to connect the Zeke Honcho page to Ezekiel Kelly and identify the shooter. Now, that's very interesting. He said, This ish is too easy. 
it's almost like not only is he having fun and he's finding excitement and going around and shooting random people, whether or not they live, he doesn't care as long as he hits a target, a moving target at that. But he's making it's almost like he's living his life out in a, a real life video game. You know how like a lot of people like to translate their like their video game life into real life kind of reminds me of an episode of Atlanta from last season. If y'all watched the show, y'all know what episode I'm talking about. It was actually the episode that uh, Kevin Samuels was in. It was like the last thing that he did before he passed. And that's what this reminds me of just when he said that this is too easy. It's almost saying to me, like, in other words, I should have been doing this. If I knew I, if if I knew it was this easy, I would have been done it. That's what I'm getting from that statement when he said this is too easy police said they were able to connect the zeke honcho page to ezekiel kelly and identify the shooter the second fact reads police called kelly who has a serious criminal history for attempted murder and an arrest warrant for murder armed and dangerous so he has a history of doing this and as a matter of fact as i'm scrolling through heavy the picture that's being shown is him actually holding a gun it's not you can't see the whole thing but you can kind of you can see the barrel of it the tip of it kelly who lives in hitch on hitchcock drive in memphis was the subject of an arrest warrant on a first degree murder charge it issued on september 7 2022 according to shelby county court records viewed by heavy details of that case were not immediately known In February 2020, Kelly was charged with two counts of attempted first degree murder, possession of a firearm and reckless endangerment with a deadly weapon. Court records obtained by heavy show. A grand jury indicted on him on those charges in June 2020. He was 17 years old at the time. He pled guilty to aggravated assault in an April 2021 and was sentenced to three years in prison. Kelly only served 11 months in prison and was released only about six months ago, authorities said in the news conference. Memphis police wrote at about 7 p.m. Central Time alert, and this is all caps, armed and dangerous, be on the lookout for a male black occupying a blue or silver sedan, possibly an Infiniti or Nissan who was responsible for multiple shootings. We are getting reports that he is recording his actions on Facebook, which is something Peyton Gendron also did, but he was uh, streaming on Twitch. We do not have a a specific location of where he is now. If you have any information of his whereabouts, call 911 immediately. And before I go any further, that recording of taking people's lives on live stream, like, you know, it kind of reminds me of what people did or tried to, show well not even try to show but show off as trophies back then you know how when our ancestors would lynch and they would take pictures of them in front of the body while it was hanging and they would post send them as postcards uh during holidays like thanksgiving and christmas when people are live streaming doing stuff like this it kind of reminds me of that police then wrote that the gunman had changed cars update suspect is now believed to be in a gray toyota suv Memphis police shared a photo from the Zeke Honcho Facebook page and wrote, the suspect is a 19-year-old male, black, driving a light blue infinity. The act of shooter scare comes as Memphis is reeling from the abduction and murder of jogger Eliza Fletcher. The third fact reads, Memphis police said in a detailed rampage timeline that there were at least eight crime scenes throughout the city. This guy was making his rounds and he was by himself. But again, this is going to lead into what I what this reminds me of so much. The police chief gave this detailed timeline of the shooting. The first shooting occurred at 12:56 a.m. A man victim was lying deceased in the driveway along Lindell Avenue. The homicide suspect was known as Zeke Huncho on Facebook. Police learned at 4:38 p.m. Officers responded to another shooting in the 900 block of South Park Way east and they located a male victim in his vehicle with multiple gunshot wounds he was deceased video surveillance showed a black male pulled up to the victim in a gray sedan fired multiple shots and fled at 4 40 p.m at norris road and interstate 240 a female victim sustained a gunshot wound to the leg her injuries were not critical at 5 59 p.m officers responded to a shooting in the 4000 block of jackson avenue the chief confirmed that the suspect using the 
using the Zeke Huncho page was on Facebook Live at the time. A male with a gunshot wound was taken to the hospital in critical condition. The suspect was on Zeke Huncho's Facebook Live threatening to cause harm to people, police learned. At 7.23 p.m., officers responded to a shooting at Poplar Avenue in Evergreen. A female was shot by the gunman during a carjacking. That woman was killed. The suspect took her SUV and fled the scene. A minute later, they then found another male victim who had been shot along Poplar Drop Avenue. He was taken to the hospital with non-critical injuries. Then at 8.55 p.m., officers located another female victim with gunshot wounds. She was deceased. At 8.56 p.m., the state line road in Highway 51, the suspect carjacked a gray Dodge Challenger. This victim was uninjured. Two minutes later, authorities spotted the Challenger and a high-speed pursuit ensued. Police wrote several warnings about the active shooter on Twitter. Update, the, vic the vehicle reportedly has a red dealer tag and a rear window busted out. They provided information on some of the shootings. At 4.35 p.m., Memphis Police Department responded to a shooting at 946 East Parkway South where a male victim was located with a gunshot wound. The victim was pronounced deceased on the scene. There is no suspect information at this time. At 4.36 p.m., officers responded to a shooting on Norris Road near I-240 southbound ramp. Officers located a female victim with a gunshot wound. She was transported to ROH in critical condition. Please avoid the area as this is an ongoing investigation. This guy was moving around like he was freaking Nightcrawler because, you know, Nightcrawler can teleport. This man did all these shootings by himself. And again, remember, it's going back to when he said this was too easy. And then you think about the criminal history that he has. He's probably like I said, he's probably banking. He wished that he was able to do this before. It's almost like he was fulfilling a fantasy of his. Number four, numerous photos on the Zeke Hunt Show Facebook page show the suspect with guns and wads of cash. The cover photo of the Zeke Hunt Show page shows a man with what appears to be a firearm. That post reads, free my killer karma, been bad since you've been gone, and he puts a green heart emoji. emoji. Love, Ty. You can see it here. In, well, you can't see it, but on the article, I can see it. The page reads, long live, king long live. Rico Long Live Terrio 8822 hashtag SVM CEO Zeke hashtag NHC and says its user lives in Memphis and is from Spring Valley, Tennessee. In July, he wrote, if I lose it all today, I'll get it back tomorrow. I'm a natural born hustler. Been this way since a toddler hashtag fifth ball. Another July post refers to a shootout. I can't lie again. I can't tell on my friend the accent told you what you knew about. And then he puts a check emoji. I charge my effing in, hope it blow again. I'm the first one to shoot in a shootout. And then he puts a green heart emoji at the end. He wrote in June, I just don't understand this. I pray to the judge, but you was my charge partner. And you described to the judge I'm the driver and my Nick and government name people are delusional. The last part that he, uh, well, not the last part that he wrote, but the last point from Heavy reads, the suspect wrote, I'm sorry, mama. I know you hate how I live. The top visible post on the since deleted Zeke Honcho page is from August 18th. It reads, I'm sorry, mama. I know you hate how I live. F it. This just what it is. I got you for life. I know you pray every night. I swear I won't go without a fight. I promise I won't go out like his kinfolk hashtag just us. So it sounds to me like his mother is aware of the kind of life that he lives. She probably tried to do everything that she could to try to, you know, get him on the straight and narrow, but nothing worked. So it pretty much was out of her hands. She, she basically just had an out of control child who grew up to just be an out of control man. A woman wrote on Twitter during the spree, Memphis followers get in the house and don't stop at any gas stations. There's an active shooter shooting people at random. Now that part right there solidifies what I can compare this to, especially since I live in the area and was there in the area still when this was going on. This takes me back to 20 years ago. I can't believe how long it's been. This takes me back to 20 years ago when those of us who was living in the Maryland, DC and Northern Virginia area, but more so Maryland and some parts of DC, but very much parts of very, a lot of parts of Maryland were dealing with the DC sniper, you know, John Allen Muhammad and Lee Boyd Malvo. 
when you when I read that last sentence when it said don't stop at any gas station, just keep going until you go home because there's an active shooter, that moment or them mentioning that took me all the way back 20 years ago when that was going on because that's what they were telling people then like they were saying you know if you got to get get like let me describe to y'all for those of you who were not there when people had to stop to get gas they would get they would pay for the gas they would put the nozzle into their tank and they would duck behind their car or the side of their car while pumping their gas then they would when they were done they would take the nozzle and put it in and then literally run, get in their cars and damn their speed out of there. But hopefully they didn't run into anybody or like whether they were walking or, you know, driving out of there. Like good thing that this area did not have full service, meaning someone pumps your gas because they would probably be some easy targets. And it was even a point where at gas stations, they put up these uh like these. It was like these blue tarp type covers so it was hopes that they could not see over it while people were getting their gas but you gotta think when it came to them they were doing from high vantage points like they had everybody in this area so paranoid those of you who remember it know exactly how that was if you were old enough to remember that because i was old enough to remember because i was like 13 when this was going on you know what's so crazy I think it was around this time when this was happening because it was not the summertime. It definitely did not happen over the summer. It was definitely during the school year because I remember one of the victims, thankfully he didn't get taken out because he was a kid was, uh, uh, killed while he was on his way, not killed. He was, excuse me. He was shot while he was on his way to school. Like literally as soon as he was like getting off of the bus, he was shot. And the crazy part about it is I know exactly what school it he was shot at and from where they did the shooting. Like it's crazy when I rap and when I go past that school and I always look in that direction and knowing that that's where they shot him at. But luckily he didn't he um didn't die. But a lot of people did. And it's crazy because he was the youngest victim. And out of all of them, he was one of the few that lived if i'm not mistaken i think he was the only one that did because the rest of them they got unfortunately deleted so when i think about what this guy did that statement at the end all it does is jog my memory back to 2002 when all of this was going on the only difference is with that it was two people and they were using a sniper rifle this guy was just driving around just because and he did all his stuff in one day this guy literally he this guy literally could have taken out eight people four is uh, is wild enough but he attacked eight people and laughed about it he found joy and pleasure in this i think it's safe to say that he's gonna have the whole library thrown at him not simply just a book but the entire library and every book and bookshelf the the register and anything else that's not nailed to the floor thrown at him but that's crazy and i think another thing that is crazy about the story that also parallels with the dc sniper is that it shocked everybody that it was a black man that did it and not the usual suspects I think that was the biggest shocker. They had everybody looking for a white box truck the whole time. They was riding around in a blue caprice. And the only way that they got found out was because they got caught slipping. They got caught at a rest stop or some kind of abandoned rest stop that they felt no one was going to go to until someone actually like kind of pulled over. And I guess they had to, I guess they had to use the bathroom or something. And they kind of looked over and was like, wait a minute. I think I found the DC snipers. They got to that pay phone. Cause you know, they had pay phones back then and called the cops and was like, look, I think I found the DC snipers. They're like right here. And he had to be careful with that because if they woke up, they was going to take him out and drive off. But those of you who remember the story, you remember everything that happened. Y'all know exactly what I'm talking about. It's it's way, it's a lot more to it, but I just gave y'all a little brief synopsis. But yeah, that's this story reminds me so much of that.
a lot, especially when they said about the gas stations. But with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and end the video. Y'all let me know what you think down in the comments. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you are new. I upload my videos in the premiere style format just in case the bell is not working for you. You can catch the notification button in the bottom left or the bottom right corner of the thumbnail. Just click notify me and the notification will come your way. The links will be down in the description. I will talk to you in the next one.